Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. Well, it's about 7 o'clock on Thursday, February 20th and I just got home and it was a really long day. The health committee started at 8 a.m. and we didn't finish until about 6.30 p.m. Of course, we took off a chunk of time in the middle of the day to do floor. We had seven cows on floor, but we only did two of them because two of them were controversial. But anyway, so this, the day started out with a bang as far as I'm concerned because they decided to hear the marijuana bills towards the beginning of the day. And that's probably because one of the bills was sponsored by Speaker Bowers, right? So I just happened to hop on that train because one of the bills was sponsored by me too. So all four medical marijuana bills passed this morning. So that is the, I have another cheat sheet. That is the uh, 2049, which would add autism to the approved diagnosis list for medical marijuana in the, in the state of Arizona. And there was just some heart-wrenching, compelling testimony from the parents about how much uh, medical marijuana helps their children with autism. Uh, the other one that passed was uh, Representative Payne's uh, 2784, which allows some of the medical marijuana be money to be used for research. Uh, I have always wanted the state of Arizona to replicate the study that was done in Harvard uh, in 2014. And that study said that any state that had had medical marijuana for five years or more saw a 25% decrease in deaths from opioids. I asked Dr. Cara Christ about this. She's the head of the ADHS a couple of years ago. And she goes, oh, we don't look at the data. Well, Payne's bill will encourage them to look at the data and analyze it. And I put forth the idea that it should be quality data that can be published and we could tell the world what the results are for marijuana in the state of Arizona. The other one that was passed was mine, 2840, and that was the patient ID card that let people have a uh, physical card or an electronic card. You remember that people are being pushed into the electronic card and they don't necessarily have the technology or the internet or an email address to do that. The last one that pa passed was Bowers Bill, HCR 2045. This is a terrible bill. First of all, he is artificially uh, putting a cap on the amount of THC uh, that's sold in marijuana to 2% of the value. This would basically kill the medical marijuana industry in the state. Again, we had a lot of parents come and talk about how the high THC products help their children with autism and epilepsy and things like that. And so uh, the other thing that uh, go is going on there, he wants more warning labels. He wants uh, research done into mental health because he's convinced that there's you know, more violent crime because of marijuana. There's like no evidence in the stuff that he's pushing. Uh, so anyway, four bills passed. Three of them are good. The HCR, if it passes, and it is sponsored by the speaker, it will go to the ballot. And I'm concerned that it's worded to trick you into voting against something that you actually like. Stay tuned.